balancing the accounts i welcome you all to my video and in this video i'm going to show you how to balance the ledger accounts remember bookkeeping involves the debiting and crediting of the different transactions in the respective ledger accounts but then after doing the debiting and crediting in the respective ledger accounts for the different transactions these accounts have to be balanced and then after balancing the ledger accounts these balances will be transferred to the trial balance however many students find it challenging uh, when it comes to balancing the accounts and in this video i'm going to show you how to balance the accounts step by step this is senior huntington your accounting tutor don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to share with friends as long as you believe and assume that this video will help them in their accounting studies now when it comes to balancing the accounts this is done in five stages what we have to do we have to add both sides to find out their totals remember on the debit side of the account there will be some items that have been entered then on the credit side still there may be some other items that are entered on the credit so we look at an account remember it has the right hand side as well as the left hand side so you have items that have been debited other items have been credited so we want to balance the account so what you'll do you'll have to add up both sides to find out their totals but here do not write anything in the account at this stage just add up the debits not the amount down somewhere then also add up the credit not the amount somewhere don't write anything in the account so just get your totals not them somewhere then we try to look at these totals you'll see that one side will be smaller than the other so what you'll do you'll have to deduct the smaller total from the larger total to find the balance deduct the small total from the larger total to find to find the balance now after finding the balance you enter the balance on the side with the smallest total you enter the balance on the side with the smallest total this now means that the totals will be equal enter total enter totals level with each other so you have to enter these totals but they have to level with each other as we are going to see now enter the balance on the line below the totals on the opposite side to the balance shown above the totals in other words you're inserting the balance on the smaller side of the account now again it's the balance above the totals complete the date column by entering the last day of that period for example this will always be 31st or 30th remember we balance off on the last day of the period now below the totals show the first day of the next period again it's the balance i.e that will always be first the opening day this will always be the day immediately after the last day of the previous period so we have to use two dates when it comes to balancing the last day of that period is what we are going to enter in the date column on the smaller side then below the totals on the opposite side we shall use the balance sorry we shall use the date on the first day of the next trading period that is the day after the last day of the previous period then after that the balance above the totals i.e the other balancing figure on the smaller side is described as the balance carried down yeah often this is abbreviated to balance carried down balance c stroke d, that is the balance carried down it is what you insert on the smaller side of the account to make both sides equal 
The balance below the totals is described as the balance brought down, that is the balance on the opposite side, at the start of the new trading period, that is abbreviated to balance brought down. Now I have an illustration here. Yeah? I'm going to show you how to balance this account. I'm going to show you how to balance this account. This is a bank account, so we are going to balance it. You see, I have my bank account here. I'm going to show you how to balance this account. Remember, this is Simia Huntington. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to comment. If you have a question, please feel free and share your question in the comment section. I will answer that. Don't forget to share and like as well. Now, as I've told you, we have to add the amounts on the debit. We also add the amounts on the credit the amounts on the credit so that's something which i'm trying to do here my debit i have 25080 that is 25080 plus 5120 now on the debit i have 3200 but as i told you note this down somewhere not in the account then on the credit On our credit side, still I need to add the credit side. We have a 1300. 1300 plus 2584 plus 5833 plus 1120 plus 10,000. This gives us 2837. So my debit side is greater or larger than the credit side so as i told you i'll have to get the difference and the difference is 9363 so i'll have to come and insert that difference here 9363 but remember we have to show the date and this is done on the last day of the period that is 30th september the financial year is 20 per row. So we call this balance, the balance carried, the balance carried down, and that is 9,363. Now we have to show the totals. We can put now our totals. Put the totals on the debit. That was the greater side, that is 30. 200 then i also have to come this side and i put 30 200 so it's 30 200 now both sides of this account are equal so at the start of the next trading period that will be first october first october then we call this the balance Rolled down that balance is 9363. So we have to carry this balance on the opposite side of the account, then that will be balance brought down. Now, by the way, when you try to look at this bank account, you will see that the total of the debit side exceeds the total of the credit side. Now, this balance is said to be. A debit balance this is said to be a debit this is said to be a debit balance don't forget the steps please as I've told you the first step is to add up both the sides to find out their totals deduct the smaller total from the larger total to find the balance then you enter that balance on the side with the smallest total now when you insert that balance or when you enter that balance totals will be equal enter total levels with each other then enter the balance on the line below the totals on the opposite side to the balance shown above the totals remember there is a balance carried down that is the balance on the last day of the trading period then the balance brought forward that is the balance 
at the start of the next financial period. Thank you for watching. I remain your tutor, Senior Huntington. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.